Hello friends, welcome to this online refresher course in education under ARPIT 2019. The title of this course is Concerns in Educational Research and Assessment. I am Kaushal Kishore from School of Education, Central University of South Bihar, Gaya. I am extending my greetings to you all on behalf of National Resource Center for Education that is NRC for Education. The present discussion is a part of second headway of this refresher course and the second headway is concerns in education assessment which will broadly focus on test construction and standardization for measuring educational variables. Under this headway, we are discussing about the nitty gritties of construction and standardization of a test. As discussed earlier, we have planned to discuss the concept of test construction and standardization in three parts that are basics of test construction, item analysis and establishing reliability and validity. Till now, in our previous videos, we have discussed the topic basics of test construction and completed four steps of test construction that were planning of test, defining the construct, writing the items and the first administration or pre-tryout. We discussed these steps by taking three cases that were number one, an achievement test for non-referenced use, number two, a scale to measure attitude, personality, etc. and number three, achievement test for criterion purpose. We have also discussed item analysis for achievement test with fixed answer type questions and item analysis for scales for measuring attitudes, personality, etc. Now, if we are going to construct an achievement test with fixed answer type questions for the criterion referenced purpose in an instructional situation, then the procedure of item analysis would be a little different. This discussion is about item analysis for the construction of such criterion reference achievement test and is primarily based on the discussion by James Dean Brown in 2003. We will discuss this by taking our third case. In the third case, we plan to construct a criterion reference achievement test for an English language class and we completed all the planning related requirements. Here, you should keep in mind that the basic purpose of criterion reference test is to measure the amount or percent of material in a course or program of a study that students know or can do. It is usually used for the purpose of making diagnostic, progress or achievement decisions. Now, after planning, we have followed all other steps. Like after defining construct, we wrote the items and checked them for any gross defect or any other problems as discussed in previous videos. Now, let us understand the difference in the procedure of item analysis for a CRT that is criterion reference test. The item analysis of a criterion reference test is done with the help of data received from two different administrations of the test. One is at the beginning of the instruction that is called pre-test and the second is after the end of the instruction that is called post-test. Thus, it will be a kind of single group pre-test, post-test design. Suppose in our present case, we administered our test as pre-test to our class 7, 30 English students and calculated the scores for each student. Then we taught the students and after a trimester, after completed the scheduled instruction and content, we administered the same test again on the same students as post-test. This is important to note here that the same test has been used as pre-test and the same test has been used as post-test and the sample of students or the class or the subjects on which the test has been administered as pre-test and post-test is same. Now, after the post-test, while scoring the students, we also completed the task of evaluation and determined students pass-fail status over a set criterion. Say, Getting minimum 60 percent marks is the set criterion for passing this post test or the trimester exam. Now, with the help of this data of pre test and post test, we will carry out the item analysis for this criterion reference test. One more thing in this discussion, we will use the term item facility, and the term item facility will be used for the proportion of the students who answered a particular item correctly. This proportion we have also calculated in first item analysis case, but here we will use the term item facility for this. According to Brown, 
two item statistics are often used in the item analysis of such criterion reference test. Number one, the difference index or DI. Number two is the B index or the BI. The difference index or DI is defined as the item facility on the particular item for the post test minus the item facility for the same item on the pretest. And as you remember, item facility we just discussed is the proportion of students who answered a particular item correctly. So, in other words, the difference index shows the gain or difference in performance on each item between the pretest and post test. Let us see an example. We had a class of 30 students that we planned initially. So, if 6 students out of those 30 students answered item number 1 correctly on the pretest for a course, the pretest item facility that we can write in short IF pretest would be 6 divided by 30 because 6 students out of 30 answered the item number 1 correctly. So, the item facility would be 6 divided by 30 is equal to 0 0.20. And if 27 students out of the same 30 students answered the same item number 1 correctly on the post test, then the post test item facility that we can write IF post test would be 27 divided by 30 that will be equal to 0 0.90. So, given that IF post test is 0 0.90 and IF pretest is 0 0.20. So, the difference index or DI would be 0 0.90 minus 0 0.20 that will be equal to 0 0.70. This difference index or DI tells us how much the students are improving between the pretest and post test on each item. And by extension, we can say on the related curriculum objective. Like the item discrimination statistics that was used as discrimination index in first achievement test, the higher the value of the DI, the better the question. Indeed, a value of 1 is a perfect difference index and the decision is taken in the same way as we did in the case of discrimination index. Items with lower difference index or negative difference index are not considered as good items. In contrast, the B index is defined as the item facility on the particular item for the students who pass the test minus the item facility for the students who failed. Here pass or fail means the students status in post test. After completing the session or completing the trimester say in this case, when we conduct the same test as post test, that time we also decide which students have passed and which students have failed on a set criterion. For example, in this case we decided that 60 percent is the set criterion. So, whosoever has achieved 60 percent or more will be declared as pass in the test and whosoever has achieved less than 60 percent will be declared as failed in this post test. So, again the BI that is B index is saying that item facility on the particular item for the students who pass the test minus the item facility for the student who failed. The B index or BI shows how well each item is contributing to the pass fail decision that are often made with criterion reference test. For example, suppose total 20 students out of 30 students that we took in our class could pass the test in the trimester exam means could get 60 percent or ever marks. And if 20 out of 20 students, those 20 who pass the test, 20 out of the 20 students who pass the test answered item 1 correctly, then item facility for students who passed that is called IF pass would be 20 divided by 20 and that will be 1. And the remaining 10 students which were failed, for them if none of the 10 students answered the same item correctly, then item facility for students who failed that is called IF fail would be 0 divided by 10, 0 because no one answered 
question number 1 correctly out of these 10 failed students. So, 0 divided by 10 is equal to 0. So, given that I f pass would be 1 because 20 out of 20 answered correctly question number 1 and I f fail for item 1 it will be 0 because none of the failed students could answer number 1 correctly. So, the B index for this particular item number 1 would be 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. It means B index is equal to I f pass minus I f fail. The B index tells us how well each item is contributing to the pass fail decision on this test at this cut point that we kept 60 percent in this case. It can be decided as per the context. Like the item discrimination and difference index statistics, the higher the B index, the better the item. A perfect B index would be 1. So, in the case of a criterion reference test, the two statistics which we are calculating the difference index and B index both are desired to be at higher end. So, in both the cases the items with the highest values should generally be kept. However, making these decisions is not nearly as simple as it is for NRT. Because as Brown says that a criterion reference test item may not be performing well in terms of these statistics that is D i and B i for many reasons. Like perhaps the item is written or working poorly or maybe the objective the item is testing is vague or perhaps the students are not yet ready to learn this particular objective or maybe one or all of the teachers are not teaching this particular objective or are teaching it poorly or perhaps the materials are confusing with regard to this particular objective or maybe some combination of the above factors is at work. So, these item statistics can point us to place in a curriculum where something is not working well, but the students cannot tell us exactly what is wrong. That is why in the case of criterion reference test, the total procedure of item analysis is in a way different. So, we have to do some common sense analysis of the entire situation in deciding how to revise our criterion reference test and or other aspect of our curriculum. Aspects like the objective themselves, the material, the teaching etcetera. All these factors affect this item analysis of criterion reference test. So, merely depending upon these statistics is not sufficient in criterion reference test. We have to use our common sense whether some other factors are affecting the result or the actual this is the statistics related to item only. Generally the difference index tells us how well each item fits the objective of our curriculum and the B index tells us how well each item is contributing to the pass fail decision that we must make at whatever cut point we are using. The word criterion in criterion reference test has been defined in two ways in the literature. One definition is that criterion refers to the material being taught in the course. Thus, criterion reference testing would assess the particular learning point of a particular course or program. This definition fits very well with the difference index which indicates how well each item fits the objective of the curriculum. The other definition is that the criterion is the standard of performance or cut point for decision making that is expected for passing the test or course. Thus, criterion reference testing would be used to assess whether students pass or fail at a certain criterion level or cut point. This definition fits very well with the B index, which indicates how well each item is contributing to the pass fail decision that we must make at whatever cut point we are using. So, if we are primarily interested in the degree to which our items are reflecting the material in our courses, the first definition we should focus on the difference index. 
if we are primarily interested in the degree to which our items are helping us making decisions at a certain cut point, the second definition, we should focus on the B index. If we are interested in both aspects of criterion reference testing, at the same time, we will need to use both the statistics. So, friends, this way we can carry out item analysis for a criterion reference test in our classes or instructional situations. It is important to mention again that criterion reference tests analysis, item analysis requires analyzing the context as well. So, choosing the proper statistics one or two that may be D i or B i or both depends upon the purposes for what we are looking for with the help of test. I hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar.